Okay, just so everybody knows, there's a difference between a 2 and a 3 kilowatt uh, Chinese diesel heater, and they're usually labeled between a 5 and an 8 kilowatt diesel heater. If you're going to attempt this, make sure that you have the parts. The gaskets for the 5 to 8 kilowatt heater are different than the 2 to 3 kilowatt heater. Go ahead and get your replacement glow plug screens. There's a tool that they sell to go to get the glow plug out, and there's also a tool to push your screen in when you do this. This is a extremely dirty job. Um, I recommend doing this outside. However, I don't shoot videos outside when it's uh, zero degrees. So what we'll do is I will get this thing stripped here, and I'm going to make a little cardboard barrier so I don't spray everything. And we're going to go ahead and clean this out, inspect everything, and then. Uh, yeah, get this ready to basically be sold at my garage sale. Okay, now I'm actually, I, I don't have any brake cleaner available, but I do have carbon choke cleaner, and it should, it should work pretty well. As you can see, I built a little cardboard barrier here to keep the overspray from going everywhere. But, I mean, these things, they're so, such basic things that anybody that is interested in using one of these for heat, it's so easy to fix these. This thing hasn't air-coated out. It hasn't quit working. It just, I replaced it with a, a, a well, a better name brand um, heater, which if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I will put those in the uh i'll put a playlist together because i'm starting to get some videos on the the diesel heater so and they're really easy this is like one of the easiest systems to uh work on for heat so this is basically it what we're going to do is we're going to break the front combustion part off of the back part the burner part and then we will clean it out. Just a little tip for you. If you're going to remove the circuit board, the, 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 the basically the brain of the uh, unit itself, come in and take a picture because you've got your glow plug wire that's located here. This is our fan motor that's on this side and then our temperature sensors on this side. Just come in and snap a picture. So on your phone, when you go to take this thing back together, especially if you don't have a lot of time, then you kind of know which one goes where. So you don't have to, because, well, let me tell you, the, the temperature sensor and the glow plug are both three pin connectors. So you've got to make sure that this gets put back together as it should or I believe it won't fire up. It might even fry the, the circuit board. So it looks like we've got one one bolt here. It looks like a four or five. There we go. What is that? It's a four. The one on this one is a four millimeter. <laughs> With these things are so mass produced and there's so many different companies that um, sell these that I mean who knows what you're gonna run into all the circuit boards are all different they've all got different numbers from different suppliers and certain circuit boards only work with certain controllers so that's why I went in and I bought that H calorie brand, uh, brand heater because like I said before in my other videos is I can contact them and get parts where these here you have to get the right controller some of the controllers are different than the other ones um, all the circuit boards are different they all have different numbers on them where the H calorie runs a specific board to a specific glow plug to a specific temperature sensor to to get you what you want so I highly recommend that other brand. This is just an off-brand heater, and it works. It's worked extremely well. I haven't had any problems with this thing at all. We'll go ahead and remove the, the glow plug here. 
and this is the tool if I have any links I'll put them below this stuff otherwise can be found sometimes on AliExpress just be gentle removing this and for God's sake make sure that this thing isn't hot when you uh, when you do this the stuff is is pretty much made fairly cheap the castings are so mass produced over there this I mean this this I'm, this can be reused I'm not going to replace this this thing looks just fine it doesn't have very many hours on it and there's a screen down in there. I don't know if you can see that down in here. There's a screen where you need a pick to get that thing out of there. And we're going to replace the the screen. Sometimes you... I've only rebuilt one of these and I had to really mangle this screen up. But you can buy these screens in a 10-pack. Technically, you could reuse this, but for the cost, I just don't see why you'd want to reuse this. So we'll push a new one of these in. Um, the one thing I would say is, see, see, this is where they fold it, where they've made these three pinches to get it to stay together. One, two, three. When you put this in, there's a little hole in here, and I'll show you. Try to get these holes on this side of the motor because you've got to make sure that that hole is clear then we'll go ahead and pull the the temperature sense uh, sensor piece here and it's just basically got a basic bracket on it to keep pressure on it and then it just pulls out there's not a whole lot to this thing if you replace this and you need to find parts try to get the ones that have like this has got two orange wires and try to get the one with the red connector there's so many different parts that aren't that have no name brands or no affiliation on who produced them and then like here you've got your two pins here on that board like I said on the uh, on the other board on the other one you've got pins on the end the pins here on the end the two but they use the same style connector so that's why you want to take the pictures of the circuit board where these go so you know you don't want to mismatch this it won't work it won't I don't even think it'll turn on if you do that go ahead and remove our wire there okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna break these two pieces off of here and we're gonna go we're gonna leave the blower motor on well, I'm not sure if that's the correct term for that. Blower motor, fan, whatever. And we've got four, four millimeter Allen heads that we've got to take off to break this thing. Oh, heck, that ain't even hardly tight. Break this thing apart here. And these should be longer than the other, the circuit boards they are Ugh. there's two When we get to the gasket part, if you don't have, I'm going to go ahead and wire wheel because I've got a bench grinder with a wire wheel. If you don't have a wire wheel, um, I would just go ahead and get a scuff pad, 
probably 80, 120, just to clean the surface when we put the gaskets back on. We'll, we'll get the surface clean enough. Ugh. Boy, that puppy's in there, stuck on there good. I think I had to use a rubber hammer last time. Ah. See if I got a rubber hammer that's small enough for that. We don't want to be real violent with this, but we've got to break it. There's, there's two tabs on the mold on the side. Just give it a little tap and that'll break it loose. Well, that gasket could probably be reused. Try not to rip it because you've got to clean it. And this one's actually made a little different than the two kilowatt one. So there's our first gasket, and I believe I've, I've got the right gaskets. I bought these gaskets. I bought these gaskets by the 10 pack. Uh oh. <laughs> they are they're the right ones you just gotta not be stupid okay that's good then what we have here is we also have four four bolts here this is where you, this is where the heat is these may not come out for you real easy you might have to get a uh, ratchet wrench Try to do it by hand first. No, the, boy, these things ain't. I have no idea if there's even torque specs for this. And then I'm not for sure if these are the same size as the other ones. They look smaller. So make sure you separate. These come off of the blower motor, these longer ones, and off the burner here are shorter. So keep them separate. Ah. There's two. There's three. Let's get this last one out of here. Uh. And this will be four. And the fuel line's going to come up with this. Is going to come out. Uh, there we go. It just broke the seal. Uh. We're just going to lift this out. This, <laughs> this thing isn't even dirty. Oh my god. There's no soot in this. I, <laughs> I thought for sure this was going to be bad. Dude, this thing didn't even... <laughs> this didn't even need to be rebuilt. Look at how clean that is. Wow, dude. I've run probably... 20 gallons of fuel in that this thing. I cannot believe how clean that is. Well, I'm going to show you why it's so clean. I use fuel additive. Let me go get it.
this is why. Diesel all in one. I have made sure I have run this through every diesel gallon that I've bought. Um, it cleans, lubricates, anti-gel, and it raises the cetane boost of the, which is octane for your diesel. And I have had no problems. The one I had got gunked up because I let it gel. This product is why that burner is so damn clean. I'm no longer selling AMS oil, but I mean, that just blows my mind. Now I've got to clean the gasket stuff up and put this back together. There was no reason to take this apart. <laughs> okay, well, I'll go ahead and go through the process here. This is just emery cloth. It's 120 grit. We're just going to clean where there's excess gasket that got left. Just real quick, and then if there's any debris from the gasket, we'll get it out of there. And I'll go ahead and spray this cylinder down and show you. Now I want you to remember, I, I don't run a fuel filter on these heaters. I, I, I refuse to do it because I don't need to do it. It's absolutely remarkable that this thing has no gunk in it whatsoever. It just blows my mind, man. Here, I thought this was going to be a super dirty job. And we just want to clean where the new gasket's going to go. get your surface clean. So what we're gonna do now is, if you were all gunked up with this, I mean, you will have a massive amount of debris. Um, you'll have to scrape this more than likely with a screwdriver, but for demonstration purposes, I mean, there's not a lot going on here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it down. Hopefully I don't ruin my camera. And you're just going to want to spray it down until it's clean. Now, get another can here. And like I said, you'll have to, you may have to scrape this with a screwdriver. And for God's sake, I forgot to tell you about this. Make sure this thing is aired out before you try to ignite it. I mean, look at that's that's pretty much how clean it needs to be. Wow, I, I was not expecting it to not be dirty like that. That is so crazy. Then I got to come in with a clean rag, wipe that down where that new gasket's gonna go. This is pretty basic stuff with these heaters. I'll tell you, if you've got a kid at home, this would be a good project if he's never done a lot of mechanical work to uh, kind of show him how to do stuff. I'm 
we'll go ahead and set this aside. Then we've got to take the old gasket off of the burner here. It's pretty brittle. You can scrape that with a knife. I want to make sure I got the right gaskets though. That one looked a little different there. I've got the right gasket. This one seems a little larger. But everything lines up. Go ahead and get this bad boy running. be able to get that gasket material off there. Best bench grinder I've ever had. It's so old, it was my dad's. Okay, and I want to point this out as well. Now, this is where your glow plug goes in, in your screen. And sometimes after maybe you're getting dirty fuel or you're getting something that I don't know, I, I highly recommend using a fuel additive to keep the diesel nice and clean. Is you've got a little hole here on the side here and a lot of times that will get clogged that has to be open a lot of people I've seen that uh, they get a pick and they go through this hole and you just need to make sure that it's clear and if this is all together and you're just trying to figure out what's going on and not taking it apart it might be difficult to get in there like that but that hole has to be open. It cannot be filled with soot, residue, anything. It'll really screw up uh, the way that this thing runs. So we'll just go ahead and spray all this down. move on to the next part. I've got a little bit of gasket material left on this. I'm actually, we're just going to do this one by hand. 
because of the motor. I don't want to go over there. Might have to scrape some of this off. Let's kind of see if I can get some of this excess off of there. So I watched some crazy movie the other night where it was like an extremely wealthy, like wealthy, wealthy, like trust fund, like, like J.B. Pritzker people. Uh, this movie was so crazy. It was like they all tried to marry like poor people. And then after they got married or before they got married, they had to like play these games and this woman was getting uh, getting to be part of this like extremely wealthy family that was like had a she had a deal with the devil this this family had a deal with the devil or whatever and she made it through this whole thing where they were trying to kill her and they killed like the nanny anyway long story short at the end of the movie because they didn't kill her in time they uh, they all exploded because they didn't fulfill the game. It's just crazy. I have no idea what kind of movie I watched. So now I've actually got a little bit of gasket material left on this, but I'm not super worried about it. You just don't want to spray the motor on the other side. This here, this metal piece here, it's pinned in. So we'll get that. get that wiped clean then we'll go to assemble reassemble this thing super easy anybody can do it just follow the direction from forward to back okay That's how it goes. It's got to start on this side first, then lay it down. Make sure that's on top. Then we'll want to put our gasket on here. Put our gasket on here. Okay, okay, okay. Just like so. Hate to tell you this, but it ain't got to be perfect. We're just, oops. Okay, like so. We we'll want to get the rubber piece in the housing.
I guess it helps if you actually pay attention to what the hell you're doing because the rubber <laughs> the rubber piece the rubber piece goes with the round side down not the top side that's why it wouldn't go in Make sure we got a good seal, which we do. I believe we used the shorter ones, because we did. Then we'll go ahead and put these four in here. We're going to want to go to a star pattern on these, so don't, don't tighten these up all the way. We're just going to get them put in the holes first. And then we'll snug them down once we've got them all. Just kind of touch the metal. Do not tighten them down. Just, just enough to touch. Then we'll put our last two in here. Got one more and then we'll do a little torquing. And these these bad boys these bad boys weren't even I mean it was not in there very tight to begin with, which kind of blows my mind. Okay, you ready? We're gonna go ahead and torque now. One Two, we're just going to go in a star pattern like you're doing a changing the tire on a car. There's three. And then here's number four. Well, if I don't, if I turn it the right way, lefty loosey, righty tighty. Okay. We'll just go back. Just make sure they're all tight. Ugh. One more. Ah. There we go. Okay, get this final gasket on here. Oh, we got a little bit left on that piece of rubber. Yeah, we'll be all right. Just take your hand and push on this rubber piece here. Make sure it is all the way down and in the grooves. Make sure you got that in the grooves. Then we'll go ahead, put this bad boy on, figure out what way it goes on here. It goes on like so. Yeah, the holes are pretty good there. Gasket ain't real flat. Oops. I bumped it. I'll make sure we can get them bolts through them holes. And then we're just going to put our motor, our blower motor, on top. Like so.
and we just want to inspect our holes and make sure that we can clear that we can clear the hole the bolts into the holes before we start torquing might have to move the gasket just a little bit then you've got your four your four longer bolts and we're just gonna make sure that they all go through the gasket into the housing that way we know that the gasket is lined up Get, to get our final one here on the back side. I can actually hand tighten these, so get these hand tight and then torque them down. Then I seen, oh my god, I seen the craziest stuff on TV. I seen the craziest stuff on TV. I have no idea what's going on in New York City with the Jews. Them, them Hasidic Jews built some tunnel underneath of the synagogue and then the police came and then the police, some of the guys were in underwear. And I, I just have no idea what the hell was going on. It's crazy though, like they dug a tunnel underneath of the palace not the palace the synagogue connecting the housing to the synagogue and there was mattresses so i don't know if some of them horny little jew kids were 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 having sex with the jew wives i have no idea it, it, it looked like the craziest thing then some of the other guys got so mad the jews with the hats and the beards and everything that they then they started like tearing the place apart and then when they were tearing the place apart i'm pretty sure the Jews that built the underground tunnel that were having sex in the beds I'm pretty sure they were going to the same church they weren't like other Jews that infiltrated them I don't know what the hell's going on this country's just going to hell okay so we've got everything finger tight we're gonna go ahead again we're gonna go star pattern and get them just snug And then I will come back and torque these things. And then we'll torque them. Now we'll come back and, and torque these. There's one. There's two. There's three. This will be number four. Number four. Uh. Okay. We will go ahead and put the computer back on this thing. I guess it does up on the fan there's a little snappy it's like a it's just a molding into the housing and it just snaps over the top like that we'll go ahead and tighten that up get that bad boy tightened up Probably don't want to over torque that. That plastic. Uh, now I got to remember how I did this. I'm pretty sure that this one was just right here. That this one was red. Then on the bottom side, this is my other three pin. We got a three pin and a four pin. So our three pin for our fan goes on this side, like so you'll hear it snap, 
and then our glow plug will go there. Let's see how easy it is to get that. Well, that's not the hook one. See, I can't. you can't get to that hole with a straight one. You've got to have an angled hook. So let's see how easy that is to get to that. Almost need a paper clip or something that you would bend to get to that hole. I would just bend a paper clip just sli uh, slightly a little bit. Maybe you could go through the top side. There you go. I would go through the top side of the housing if you need to clean that hole. See where that you can see that I'm through it. So if you just use a hook and you pull everything out, you'll just go through the top side here and then get into the hole like so. Okay. Let's go ahead and get a new screen in there. So like I said, where you have your three punches where they basically I'm not sure what they do they heat treat this to get it to stay together we don't want to be on the whole side so we're just gonna well we ain't gonna do nothing Let's see if I can get this this is just a plastic pusher Let's see if I get you a good angle and with this little piece of plastic it's just gonna push it right down to where it needs to go into the hole to install it so you don't have to mangle it up and it and and if you try to push it in with like a flathead screwdriver or something it may you may lose the roundness of it so what what if you buy this tool buy this tool and then just kind of twist it and it'll get it round if it does start to uh, deform or whatever then we'll go ahead and get this this glow plug put back in. Now on this glow plug I recommend we're going to ins insert it like so and we're just going to make sure that it starts threading before we use the tool. That way we don't strip these little threads. And then get our tool on there and try to just turn it turn it by hand and it'll it'll bottom out once it bottoms bottoms out we will we will torque it Okay, we're bottomed out. And then we're just gonna try to get you a better angle here. We're just gonna torque it. Don't need a whole lot, just about a quarter turn there just to get it to seal. cap in. Now the cap I actually, I remember I had to, on the other one, I had to kind of use a screwdriver to get it down in the hole. Oh! Then we'll just plug our our unit in. The last plug to the unit. Like so. Alright. Okay, we'll get it back in its uh its shell now. Really easy to do this. Hope you uh if you need to rewatch this video as many times as you'd like let it run in the background I don't know so you can figure out how to do this it's really easy to do thank you so much for watching comment and subscribing don't get a lot of comments don't really care about a lot of comments we'll 
get our back shell part on. Like so. Looking good, looking good. Not looking good. Get it underneath the flap, yeah. Yeah. Nothing like a bunch of fake carbon fiber. Twist our cap on. Everything looks good. See, look at the brand. The brand is Tushinga Fuel Diesel Model TSD2 Voltage DC 12 Volt 2023. It doesn't even give me what the unit is. The computer said it was a 5 kilowatt, so go ahead and get our piece of rubber put back on. So, okay, that's pretty much it. Uh, I will make a playlist inside my uh, YouTube channel. So if you have any diesel heater, uh, well, if you want to watch some diesel, other diesel heater, heater videos, go ahead and check it out there. I've got an unboxing video of another H calorie heater coming out next week. And then I'll assemble that the week after that. And then we're coming into March. And then it's going to basically be four-wheeler time. Back to four-wheelers. And then after this four-wheeler is done, I've decided I'll never work on another four-wheeler again in my life. We're going straight to motorcycles. High-end, super, super, super sport motorcycles from now on. That's it. So, thanks for taking me out. I'm out of here.